What's up everyone? We're here at the International Builder Show and I'm talking with Brian from Aquaria. So uh, you guys basically harness water out of the air, right? Exactly. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, sounds good. So we've created the solution uh, that is able to help entire communities unlock access to water just directly out of thin air. Uh, we're a, right now we're at the International Builder Show, so we're offering a solution to our community development partners, developing homes, uh, developing schools, uh, a way to get water immediately. Okay, sweet. So we were originally talking about this unit here, yes. and um, on on some of the marketing info, I saw that you guys can produce up to 2,600 gallons per day, which is a ton of water. But uh, Brian was saying that this unit it produces uh, 135 gallons Correct. per day. And so that's a lot of water that you can make per year. And so what are the things that you guys foresee you using? Obviously, I would think irrigation. What, what are your goals as a company to yep. produce water for? Sure. So our mission is to safeguard access to clean water. So what we measure by is how many people we can serve and how, how many people in a community we can protect their access to water. So one of these machines, there's a couple of different ways to use it. Uh, this one you see right here is meant to supply the entire water needs of a, uh, of a single family home. So for example, right now, we're actually building the first community in the world whose entire water supply is just from the air. A thousand homes. That's crazy. Or you can actually take this unit and we have a different version of the unit where it's actually like a uh, water station. And so the water station can act as a like a central water, uh, you know, drinking water tap for a community of hundreds of people with just that one machine. Wow. Okay. So really innovative stuff. Thank so you. I really like it. So I'm on I'm on well water, so okay. I don't really I don't really see myself wanting a unit like this, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of family members that live in town. They have a lot of chlorine in their water. Mm. You can even taste how chalky and just chlorine, it's just chock full of crap. Yeah. So I can imagine that this would be an awesome thing for you know, anybody that wanted sustainability in town or didn't want to rely on the municipality to do the correct thing. Yeah. So it, it is really, really cool. I, I've heard of people making nitrogen out of these machines, you know, harnessing nitrogen out of the air. How much does a machine like this go for if you wanted to just take a, a standard four, uh, you know, four person home or a family home and you wanted to plop a unit like this down, sure. how much would it cost me to get started? Sure. So a unit like this will cost you twenty-five thousand okay. uh, dollars, and actually, it's really you mentioned really interesting. You mentioned wells. We're actually getting contacted by a lot of well owners yeah. that are running dry because for them to dig another well, they're running up on really large costs and also uncertainty whether they can actually get more water. So actually, we are getting contacted by a lot of well owners as well. I like that. I didn't even think about that. And it brings another point. As I live around a small lake, a man-made lake, mm -hmm. and a lot of the customers there are dealing with softener issues and, mm -hmm. and water filtration and, and things to take all the sulfur and the crap out of the water that this thing could take care of. Obviously, it's a large upfront investment, yes. but what about all the filters? What about hiring a plumber? And what about all of the fixtures that you go through and you know you kill because of hard water? So when it comes to when it comes to water out of the air, since I'm ignorant and I don't know what I don't know, what kind of quality of water do we get out of the air out of one of these machines? Do you have to treat it at all? Is it just immediately? You know, it's not like condensate, right? It's not like condensate water off of a furnace or. How does that work? Yeah, that's a great question. So first of all, uh, I would not be comfortable providing this water to everybody who is not clean. Right, right, uh, right. The first thing we do whenever we deploy these machines in any location is we, we run water quality testing. So the standard that we adhere ourselves to is WHO and EPA drinking water quality standards and of the strictest quality. And so we can demonstrate reports to our customers showing that, okay, here's what we're able to provide. And that's actually, that's a must for all of our products. So the machines you see here, whether it's this machine or that machine, they're all able to produce water up to that standard. Now, let's say you might not want to have that for, let's say, toilet flushing water. Uh, it's still high quality water because the source, which is the air, actually has way less contaminants than your body of water, which has, well, I guess depends on what body of water you're at. So right. that's, that's how we do it. Okay, cool, cool. So uh, maintenance on a machine like this, how yes. much can I expect? How long can I expect it to last? And how much maintenance do I have to worry about on a machine like this? So the machine is rated for 15 years of operating lifetime. 
Uh, of course, it can last longer than that, uh, but that's what the official you know, rating is for. And then on top of that, the only work or maintenance you have on it is switching out the air and water cartridges about once every quarter or so okay. to maintain the quality of the water. Um, and, and that's all you gotta do. Cool, cool. And how much can I expect to, to spend on the water filter cartridges? Or, yeah, wa air water filter cartridges. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the exact term. Okay. You know, air right. water cartridges. Uh, it's about five hundred to a thousand dollars per change, okay. uh, depending on the unit that you're getting, and that will guarantee your water quality, you know, uh, for uh, for at least a couple of months. Now it's dependent because I say uh, that's a range. If you're living someone that's fairly clean, you might not have to change it for six plus months, nine months. Right. But if you live near an airport and you have bad municipality water, yes. and like this is a viable option, and you have the smog, like obviously it's just. Yes depending on the, uh, it's like running a car in the dunes or you're running it on the highway. Exactly. I, I totally get it. Exactly. So. All right, well, thank you for your time, Brian. Yeah, thank you so much. I, I uh, really enjoyed the conversation and quizzing you a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Uh, you know, follow us for more, or if you, do you have any social media that I can pimp on the channel? Uh, you can come follow us on Instagram, Aquaria, AWG, or on LinkedIn or any number of, uh, and, and we can drop it on that later. All right, awesome. Thanks for uh, watching Thank the Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. It's always an awkward finish. You're like, I, I, I don't know what to say next. <laughs>